So um, for the demonstration today, Gianni Toso, Maestro Glassmaker, is going to be um, making sort of what I consider a signature piece for him. It's going to be a large um, female uh, head, and he's going to use some traditional Venetian uh, chandelier making techniques um, as the decorative uh, hair for the piece. As well, he's going to um, apply eyes, ears, mouth, and nose. And uh, there's a picture actually over on the, uh, on the board back here, and that has a sort of the, the process we're going to be doing. And so I believe he's going to put one more gather on top of this, and then he's going to begin to form the, uh, form the head. This piece is going to require uh, a lot of a lot of time, uh, t timing, and coordination among the team members. We have uh, Gianni's first assistant, who is Emily McBride, and DJ, who works for me, and they're going to coordinate together to be able to make the uh, elaborate bit work necessary to complete the the uh, hair or the top of the uh, for the top of the sculpture. And right now, Gianni's just waiting for the temperature to be right. To take his final to, to take his final gather on this uh, on this bubble. So Gianni's going to go into the furnace. The temperature in there is roughly 20, open, open. 2150, 2150 degrees, molten glass. And just put a, a fairly thick layer onto that bubble. Gianni, what colors are you using? Uh, inside is a gold ruby, outside the blue cobalt. Uh, he has gold ruby is the first color, and then there's a cobalt blue is the second color that are directly on top of the bubble inside. And then there's been, I think, four gathers of clear glass over top of that. And you right know, now... I forgot the paper. Wait, the paper. Do we have a wet paper? Wait, the paper. Go work up a paper real quick. So Gianni has all the glass that he needs for this particular sculpture right now, and he's going to be, begin to form the bubble. And he's going to do a bubble setup on the Marver table where he tries to thicken up the bottom a little bit and start to blow out the bubble by the pipe a little bit. Matt, hold it, please. So now he's starting up. a jack line, which creates the base of the neck for the head, and a jack line right now, which is going to allow him to take it off this pipe. He wants this to be relatively thick down here and stable because it will ultimately be ground and polished, and it'll be what the piece stands on. So he's got the neck established, and he's going to start to blow up the form. Prepare the ponte, children. And somebody open close to the door. OK, so you want to have the pintado ready? Do you guys have a pintetto for him? Great. So Gianni's going to form the nose and the mouth of this sculpture by using um, a, a punny, which is a metal rod that we gather glass on, with a, is cold, a punty ready? cold amount of glass on that punty. And he'll be able to actually pull the nose and pull the mouth and chin out of the form. So Michael Rahman is bringing over the punny, and it has a, a little bit of very cold glass on it, but cold enough to stick to the rod, 
but not cold enough to stretch when he wants to create these features on the face. So he's just made the chin, and now he's working on the nose. And one of the great things about watching Gianni work is he uses a lot of gravity, and he lets nature intervene in the Don't. process. Nature is a participant. Prepare for the eyes. So right now, the, there's a sharp edge that's left from, the, uh, from using the Pintetto. And he's uh, getting it hot enough where he can make it exactly the way he wants it. A little bit more than that, and without the bobo. I said, make first of the pontil, cool down. At the pipe, to make the bobo. So Gianni's asking Michael Raman to make sure that the punny is cold when he gathers on it. Open. Come, Emily. Bob over there. Sorry. I need to control. Okay. The pound is too hot. Oh. You make PJ, a bubble you with the hot pound. Two timer, two timer. Emily gathered also like him. Ready? Like a drop, okay? Yeah, a little bit too much. Emily got the less. Wait. 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 Try to keep it like a drop. Wait. On the holiday, you leave. So now he's applying the first eyebrow to the vessel. Stay there. Stay there. What eight? And Gianni obviously very happy with the way that was applied. Keep it like drop, Emily. Open. A little like a drop.
out. Open. Open. Now for the hair, something like that, maybe a little bit less, okay? Come. So now he's creating the lips of the face. He uses a Parmesan knife as a taglio where to cut the glass. Torching the back of the piece a little bit so it stays so it stays warm in the back. Otherwise, if it gets too cold, it'll fall off the rod. And now taking it for a reheat. Right now, the sculpture is pretty much done as far as the base goes. It's just a matter of keeping this warm, not too hot, and Come applying on. the hair. Open. Too much. You have any kind of shit, though. It's a color. I don't need the color. Why is the color? I think they're gathering on a cold, clear core. Come here. Stay there. So he has one ear on. Come up. Open, please. Michael Raman's brought over the second bit for she the ear. I would about to bring bubble. And he's actually drawing on the surface of the glass right now with the clear glass. And letting gravity and heat do all the work. Now we start building the air, okay, children? Gianni said it is now for the time Pat, for the children to make the hair. But you are young, okay? Yes, sir. What is the new palette? Open. The new Gianni. One. Gianni, oh. attention to Orecchi. Huh? Do you need that down anymore? Is it okay? It's okay, it's okay. Okay. Uh, torch. Keep it warm over that torch. No, I prefer that big so one. So Gianni's instructed me to apply a little bit of heat to the back and of the sculpture. Sure don't have a, because if this moil gets too the cold, the whole sculpture will break off the blowpipe, fall on the floor, and there will be many tears. Right now, there's a pretty good mood throughout the entire shop. Things have been going along smoothly in this process. The most important thing is the happy maestro. Two time, okay? Go, 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 go. Go, fine. So Gianni's drama. coordinating with his team right Stay. now, and they're going to get ready to make this sort of um, open. A spirale is the Italian word for a, it's a spiraling glass or a helix shape, and uh, it requires three or four people in order to do it. One person who's gathering the clear glass out of the furnace, the right proportions, another person who's hot. applying color to that more hot. clear glass to colorize it. I think we're using red for this, and then. Uh, one of his assistants, Emily McBride, will then be forming it. Is it two time? Open. Two so time? the real action is really happening with the team over on let, the other let, side let the, right now. Let, the team is either uh, coordinating how these pieces are going to be made. And uh, for me, it's one of the more exciting processes is to watch Gianni yeah, make these pieces me, okay? over at the copper tube right there. He's uh, squeezing the glass on the marble table. 
And probably the most exciting thing to see is him making this spiral right now, right over there. It's just, open please. Ready underneath. Open. Not. Stop. Yeah, fire, fire, fire. You come out too early. I need the head more hard. Okay. I burned myself. Move that torch about a foot that way behind the water bucket and aim it away from that hose. Yes. Mike, what are you doing? Open, please. Ryan, torch here. Like that. That's great. That's your job. Out. Wait. Go in. Wait, Mike. I call. It. Wait. It. Okay, Mike, come. Open, please. Torch the back, please. That's great. I need the hat. I need That's the hat. That's great. That's great. Flash, please. Out. Okay, great. Now we are team. Torch. Go, 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 go. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Stop. Okay, out. Now the other side, okay? Not. Is the side, okay? Torch. Come, 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 come. Just come, light, come. just like that, it's fine. We're just keeping a little bit of heat back there. Flash. Keep the doors open. You are too hot. Turn. Don't make it so hot. Okay. Yeah, I think open's fine for this. Torch. Here. So he's making the final touches on the hair. So it's exactly the way he wants. Not the time. Always returning to the fire. Come out.
turn around, hit the tip. Torch that tip. So Gianni giving some critical instruction to Ryan to locate a heat on the hair, so he's able to place it right where he wants it. How you doing? Come, Mike. Come, Mike. It's really awesome to see Gianni when he's working and he has a team of people because he is, you know, a master. He is directing nine or ten people right now. Go, go, go in here, come out. Including me. It's still too hot, Mark. Torch here. I'll do the pipe before I burn myself. Come, DJ. Come, Matt. That's it. Yeah. All right. Not to come out. <laughs> master fix. You must in the end over here. Yeah. Must the end over. No, in the end. Here it is. Give it to me. I feel like I'm too chauffeur. Um, do you guys, Emily, do you know where we're loading? No, I go. Can you find out if we can get a piece of fiber fracks on the floor? Over here, over here. Okay, two more. Floor, me, yeah. Okay. Or come, 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 come. Somebody find a piece of fiber frax that's roughly this dimension. So this has a nice little blanket to sleep on in the annealer. Wait, wait, I put the position now. Okay, Matt.
Ryan torched some oil very, very hard. Thank you, Michael Rahman. Mike! Mike! Another one! So I think Gianni's going to apply one more of these spirales to the, uh, to the head. Let them into a hole before you, okay? That is the easy way, right? Let me see. Yeah, one over there. The last one. Last one. Another one. I said the last one. Come. What are you doing? I said the only one. Okay. Thank you, Mike. Matt. If I were on TV right now, oh, I I'd need, probably I say one. hello to my wife, Carmen, oh, who's an amazing glass artist, and my two little girls, Josefina, Sparrow, and Greta Rhodes. Your daddy misses you. Come my family on. may be watching. Torch. Now this one, you bring it to me in the bench and make the collar, okay? So Gianni's just indicated to one of his team members that he's ready to put one of the final touches on this, which is a collar. Now in the kiln, do I have a five frax? Yeah. Um, there should be some fiber frax in there. <laughs> lift up, lift up. Thank you. Nice, Gianni. Is there any other? No, look a fire. Go, oh, hold it. Mike, are you ready? Wait, 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 I need a pointy. 
Gianni, is this the final? This is going to yeah, be the yeah, necklace? Yeah, 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 yeah. So Emily's probably going to get some gloves on and be ready to load this. Michael Rahman brought over an excellent bit for the neck, and Gianni's using the back of the jacks to make a look like a necklace. Ah! Always returning to the fire. Always returning to the fire. As a master of Murano. Come on, Matt. Hey, hey, tell me. Come here. He's the critical point. What's that? He's the critical point for me. So Gianni has just told me this is the most critical point of the piece. I, I, I got to put the water and I'm ready to go out. Okay, so Emily's ready to load. Is the five racks over there? There's some fiber fracks. Yes, there is. Last heat. So Gianni's indicated to me that this is the final heat. So this will be the last time we're flashing in the glory hole. Come on, Matt. He's in indicated to me to return to the bench with the glass. And now he's going Go to down. apply water. Wait, wait, uh, Emily, I tell you when. To the back of the piece in order to separate it from the blowpipe. Emily McBride is suited up with a high temperature Kevlar gloves and a hood shield because the heat that comes off of this is amazing. She will be gently loading it into an oven that's roughly 900 degrees, where it will sit for. Are you ready? For potentially 10, 15 hours Hold to cool it. down slowly to room temperature. Maestro, thank you. <laughs> DJ, come here. Emily. <laughs> Emily, come closer. DJ, come closer. All the class. All students, come All on. All the class. Simon. Thank, Thank you, Dan, the cameraman. Those are interpies. <laughs> so we've got a pa we've got a pattern in the uh, in the uh, garage. Gianni is going to form uh, the head. We're going to make a bird. Like this. Gianni will make this part, I'll make the body, and we'll see what happens. Okay, Michael Rahman, what I need you to do is there's a gold leaf box over there. Lay out as much gold leaf as you can possibly. There's three packs of gold over there. Please lay out that. If you want to, put out this piece of kiln shelf. Fill this kiln shelf with, uh, with gold leaf. Double, double thick, double thick. However you feel like doing it. You can apply it and then put the lid on. Whatever you feel like doing. Oh, we'll make the head. But you must have given me the piece from that. Yes, so I'm, uh, as soon as I have it rolled Are up, I'll make- Are we going to use the Murina for the eye? Yes, yes. I don't need the preheating. I don't think so. Yes. Thank you. So the team is over at the garage right now, and they're pulling out a pattern of cane that we pulled earlier this week. Um, and we're going to roll it up and make it, make it into a bird. Michael Rahman's over at that table over there, and he's applying gold foil out onto a stone. A pencil. Okay. 
So Michael Rahman's asking. What do you have at the? I need to put in the pallet. Pretty heaty. There's a paddle. Simon. Problem? No problem. Don't need a tube brake underneath. Hold on, hold on. I know. I'm gonna get it out. I'm gonna get it out. Now you can get it. Also, was that it, Queso? No, let me go. Good. Good no, down with this one. Okay. <laughs> and then when you're comfortable, we'll get a new grip on it. Just take your time, you guys. We got all the time in the world. She take our mold. What's that? She take our mold. Okay. Hey, okay, what do we put? Olga, can you put this in the lunchroom, please? Oh, thanks. Hey, Emily, I'm going to ask you to Thank do the you. worst thing in the world and come out for Thank just a you. second. Come on. Because <laughs> I really don't know what we're up against here. So, Gianni, we're going to roll this up and then roll up gold and blow the gold inside. So that's going to be the whole. Oh. Uh, no. No. No, that won't be a problem. And uh, we'll have a wooden paddle, and we'll adjust it straight. Three layers thick. Three layers high. Are you picking up a wood at the bagel? Bagel. Bagel and a blow through. Here's a diameter bagel. Thank you. And that is what I'll call it forever the bagel. And now we make a bagel. Do whatever you guys feel like you're doing. Yeah, we'll be there in a minute. And you, you gave America. me a pipe and I put it up here. Well, All right. So but this is a traditional Italian technique where you, um, you prefabricate cane. In this case, some flat cane and some, some twisted cane and arrange them in such a way. Did that crack in the garage or did that, that clear? Or did... Okay. So well, in order to do this here. process, you gotta have a way to get the glass off the, uh, off the Pastorelli and glass seems like the logical thing. <gasps> I'd also like to say something about the Corning Museum of Glass now that I'm here. That they have been a constant source of inspiration and education for 15 years. Gianni Toso was the first class that I took as a glass blower here at the studio. I must have got to the corner of the next to our cove over there. Do it. What do you think? Cover that? Yeah. Put the wall. Okay. That's a bagel. Oh, 
I got a question about this bagel as to act, if it's actually open. Because I was doing a lot of lollygagging. Now take a line the finish of the job. No, it's too cold now, don't squeeze. Wait. It's not supposed to stick out. So right now, while I was trying to open to the pipe, I actually closed the pipe. Skin wash. But we're open now. Are you ready? Moment. A little small, I'll be okay. Are you ready? Yeah, I'll do it here. Are you nice and hot? Because I'm really cold. Way colder than I feel like I should be. Are you nice and hot? Come on, come on, come on, come. Pick it up. You start from the cold and not the hot. Oh. Okay. Let me use that rail for a second. Let me use a tweezer for a second. Paper to clean. Come, I'll use the torch. Okay. Give me the torch. Torch. Just open it up for me, it'd be great. Open that door, it would be great. Open the door, it would be great. It'd be a miracle. Great. Okay. Matt, come here with the torch. I'll be right there. No, go. Yeah, just make it thick and high. Keep doing it. Keep going, keep going. We, yeah, and actually it's out to here too. Thank you, Gianni. I made a mess of things, didn't I? Because you don't obey the geometry rules. It's a 3.14. Right. I was using an Italian pie divider. No, 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 that is an excuse. It might be metric. Don't make America joke. Okay, so Gianni's pretty much fixed Matt, everything that I made bad. Now the oil. Thank you. So we're going to try and work it out. The cane roll up the collar that I used. Oh, why this oh, is the shoot. end? It's okay. No, it's not okay. We'll just stick it together. It's an excellent work. Okay. I told you what to need. The jacks. Yeah. Okay. We'll put it on the marble table, make it pretty. Michael, how are you doing? Okay. I usually have Go my assistant marble. at home, Pat Frost, do all this, so I don't ever have to deal with this. He makes it pretty and just drops it off for me. And his. Uh, 
his girlfriend, Carrie Batista, she makes it easy too. So I just walk into the studio and this is all done. My shop. Michael, how are you doing? What are you going to do now? Blow a bubble inside. Who blow the, bu the bubble? Me. Uh, who holding the pipe? You. Oh, OK. Just a <laughs> Hey, Emily, do they have any parachofies here? Could you throw a set of parachofies on the inside of this while I'm doing a little <whistles> on the marver table? We'll see if we can straighten it out. Matt, come here, Matt. You must have consolidated the glass, otherwise it was a hole you never know. Wow, I understand. Put the marble to marble over there. Okay. Go marble. Too late. It went down a little bit, got a little soft. Yeah, to need, but to need more because uh, okay. if it's a hose, you never blow. I tell you when, okay? Go to the Glorio, go to the Glorio. Clean the marble, it's a broken piece over there. Okay, Emily, do your best. Mostly concentrate on the back. No, bring it to me. Okay, where is the bubble? <laughs> Emily. It's gonna be a the, big no, no, bubble. No, no, no. Bubble the, mas grande. Emily. When they come, with the teaser part of where yes. yeah, this part has a lot of flesh, so make sure the Some clock, guy must okay. have been pulling twisty cane and using this as the Matt, bunny. I wait. Clogged. Please. I'll be there one minute. Do you have another pipe? This is a big pipe, the biggest pipe. Matt, Go. at the end, the bubble must have very thin. No, this is good. Emily, when we blow into this thing, stand by with a bench torch, because the cellophane that comes off the backside, you can just dissolve with the torch. Do you understand?
One more gather. Oh, you got another one? One more. Gee, what do you make? It's big. Yeah, but it's supposed to be thin layer. It will be. Anyhow, we'll see what do happens. Do the way you normally you do it, okay? Okay. I'm a very flexible. Sure. Michael Rahman, how are you doing? Okay. Thank you. Whenever you're ready, Mike, I'll go and get it. Mike, I'm sure what you got is fine. So now we're going to try to apply some gold leaf to this amount of clear glass right here. Michael Raman spent the last half hour laying out gold leaf, and he's just about got it where he wants Matt, it. It's a very tricky. Matt, you come inside by, I don't touch the pipe. You come by yourself. You understand? No. Yes. I don't do that. Oh, yes. You do that. Mike. Yeah, yeah, uh, I'll take it. The problem here is the core temperature I'm losing out of this, which is the total basis for this. Yeah. Thank you, Olga. Shit. Okay. Yep. Thanks, Mike. Don't ask me to do that ever again. <laughs> Emmy. The, the scissor, scissor. A little lower, please. Yeah. Torch. Torch. Sorry. I didn't know you were going to poop. Hold it. Blow. That's yours. Okay. Now I'm going to put um, a That's supio. Yours. Thanks. <laughs> I'll put a supio onto a pipe for you. Okay, Emily, make that thing pretty. Oh, somebody bring over, uh, once you get this thing hot and back to a cylinder, drop a cookie on the marver table. We're going to pick it up and we're going to use that to close it down. So you're just shooting for a cylinder at this point. Ryan, can you go over and stand with a dry paddle and let her move into it if she needs to to keep this thing a cylinder? Thank you, Gianni. Next time, you don't do that. Okay. You pull out and you blow. Okay. And when the cold, just break. tap it off, okay. Because you really could make a bobbin that way. So we've applied the gold leaf to the inside. 
of the piece and Emily is going to make it into a cylinder right now. And Ryan's standing by to keep the front edge from kind of getting too hot and getting too weird. They'll apply a little light pressure if Emily wants it. And then once we have it as a cylinder, DJ is going to work up a cookie that's going to go on the marver table and we'll use that to close off the pattern. That way we lose almost nothing from the pattern. No, it's more torch, it's more torch. Hey, Mike, can you put um, uh, studio tools at this bench? Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. I just don't want to use Agiani's stuff. DJ, we're in the ballpark. You know what we're looking for. Just. You can... Yeah, Emily's right where we want her to be. So all you need to do is drop a cookie off on the table, and then Emily can go pick up the cookie, make sure that it's Give all the way on one. there, and then we'll go ahead and put a jack, put a jack line on it, and we'll move on. Also, another thing, Michael Robin. When I'm ready for it, I'm going to need a small collar because we're going to give Gianni a, a portion of this that he can make the head of the bird out of. If you think you got it to do it, go ahead. But strip off everything if you think that's it and smush it down with a smasher if you don't have the diameter that you need. Take everything off the moil. Everything. Everything off the moil. Scrape it down. Yes. Give it the biz, you guys. Nothing crazy, just what you need. Okay, so now the form's closed off, and we localized a little Take bit of heat up by the front, Wait. and you can just get smoking, and we'll chop it off. Do the star Huh? Wait a moment. We'll see what happens. Okay. Good. Why? You know what? It was enough. You'll have to have somebody else take a deep breath for you. You need a snorkel? It's true. You need a snorkel, hooked up. Yes. Hook, level. Back and forth a little faster on RPM. We kind of want to try and lose it this time, but we want to go back and forth evenly so we don't twist it. So just a little that way and a little this way. Mm -hmm. Back and forth. This is too luxurious. <laughs> Have somebody else turn in this stuff for me. Yeah, we're gonna be able to finish it this time. Okay, I'll take it. Okay, clear please. Clear please, Mike. You know, just get out of the way. We had a little bit of difficulty, but nothing that we haven't seen before. Oh, the Inamerica. Hold on. Make sure the camera guy got all that. Good, good. Okay, we can slap that thing into a block now, so you can smoke it. We're gonna smoke this thing down, thicken it up a little bit, and elongate it, and then we'll pop open the bottom and we'll section you off, and then we'll go ahead and blow this thing up. So there's a lot of prefabrication that's going on with this. Thanks, you guys, for hanging in there. I know a lot of these people have not been like for hours today, yet they've decided that they were going to stick around and see what happens next. I don't know. You know, I do a lot of theorizing. I think the person to ask would be Bill or Gianni. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. We're going to block it down a little bit and then stretch it out and we'll give you a piece. These are your tools? My tools. Your tools are here. Yeah, but the wax will go over here. Ah. Ah. Only in America. Oh, yeah. uh, I need my, my tweezer. Yeah, okay. The ice is ready, okay? Thank you, Gianni. Now I wait for your supio. Let's do one more, kind of like the same, and I'll see if I can mess around with it a little bit. 
Thanks, boss. Again, these are the sort of things that Pat Frost and Carrie Batista would be doing back at my shop. And they're like, Matt, we're ready to go. I'm like, oh, okay, let's get to work. So I bet they're at, the, uh, at home on the YouTube video or whatever, chuckling a little bit, being like, <laughs> look, now he has to do the work. Not so easy, is it, Matteo? Okay. I'm fairly confident that this is hot. I'm fairly confident these are wet. No, not in that way. What? He must have pulled at the chart. Too late. The tweezer is for the lamp working. You saw my tweezer bigger they are. I don't have any big tweezers. You're supposed to have it. I know. Yes, sir. Somebody say my name? No, it doesn't have to be big. It's like a medium one. Matt, if for my head. How much, how much would you like? Now? What do you do now? I'm going to take off a section about that big for you. So, no him, me now. Well, yeah, if you want him to make a collar or you make a collar. I, I prefer. Michael, Gianni wants to make the collar. Let's see what you got. Small piece, you don't need the bigger part. Well, we're going. We don't need roads. This will be the head, what Gianni's getting right here. Are you ready? One moment, smoke the end of that thing, please. I want to close down the diameter for you. One inch and a quarter. One inch and a quarter. Cecilia, and what is the torch? Are you ready? I think so. Go ahead. Huh? I want to give you material. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's smoke that thing and make it into a ball. We can put a blow punny on the bottom of it just for. Mike! Remove it, is a free thing. Bird. Michael Raman, can you lay out some gold leaf if you get a chance? Probably three or four sheets side by side. One, two, three, four. Okay, we're on our way. Nice. That's some temperature right there. What? Oh, yeah. So there'll be a little handle, a little three crimp handle for the tail that'll be out of gold leaf. Just to do something to, here's the front, here's the back. We'll put it on a blow punny. It can be a pretty hardy blow punny um, so that there's some, uh, enough clear glass on there that it can withstand the amount of time it's going to take to apply the head and the tail. And we can cold work that off later. 
Okay. All right, I think we're there. We'll go ahead and set this bubble up a little bit and blow it out. What? That black handle blow pipe. Is that okay for the money? Sure. Emily, take a heat on this thing, okay? We're going to dump it and throw a jack line into it. Try and keep it most cane mostly straight. So Emily's going to take a, a fairly substantial heat on it now, and we're going to try and do our primary forming right now. So she, she's heating really deep on the piece, and when it comes out, we're going to let it stretch at the uh, stretch up by the pipe and elongate and start to inflate it and try and get a jack line in all in this heat. So we'll see what happens. Okay, good lord. Good lord, okay, no problem. Very lightly below, very light. Blow a little harder, please. Stop, Emily. I don't need a paddle. Thank you, though. Make it longer. Make it long. Make it longer. OK. Like this? No, the, the, make it make longer over here. Oh, and longer yeah. rotations on the bench. Is it big enough, it is? I think it's great. It was a bobo. OK. Gianni, whatever you feel like making. Whatever, whatever you yeah, feel. Yeah, but the problem is how we put it together to need the pontil. A small punty? Yeah. Hot torch? Or crystal? We'll use crystal. Oh my goodness. Okay, keep it up there. Pass. DJ, stand by on air, okay? Yeah. Go ahead up. Go ahead, blow DJ. Give it all you got. Yeah. Huh? Emily, we're almost there. Actually, we can do it just like this. One more heat, I'm going to tighten up the jack line a little bit, and then we're going to drill the bottom and we'll flip it. Uh, do we have something to, do we have a tungsten rod in the shop? I think Sarah Beth is on it. I'm just going to tighten up the jack line and we'll drill a hole and flip it, because it seems like it's getting a little thin on top. Give me my diamond scissor. I'm fairly certain that'll come off of there. OK. So all we have to do is chill now. Do you want to stay up? If it makes you more comfortable, stay up. It's kind of weird. It's OK. Kinda my diamond like scissor! Can you get him long scissors? Get him set up with everything you think he might need for a, a, glass, a master glass blower in the field. Hey, the gold stage. I never have that happen. No, I think that's different. It but it's kind of like, I don't know. Yeah. It's like, how do you apply the gold leaf where you don't burn it out? Yeah. You know what I mean? And you kind of make it nice. I think Sarah's, we're in a holding pattern, Emily. And as soon as Sarah, as soon as we find a map gas torch and a drill, OK. DJ, you're my drill man. I have the ice. There's a yellow torch right there. There's a blue torch right there. Can you get me that blue torch? To me one of the because time. I bet you Gianni's gonna be like, oh, where's my torch? Why you no know torch? Why you no know have? First I put it I'll down, use this then one. a torch. Okay. Give that one a flash. DJ, we have that torch. No, 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 Sorry no, I have a torch. I, have, I need that torch, don't take it from me. So right now what we're going to do is we're sort of finished with the form on this side and we're going to go ahead and drill a hole Wait, in the I bottom because we're looking to make a sphere, kind of a perfect sphere. Um, so we're going to drill a hole in the bottom, then we're going to close off the top, we're going to round it out, and at that particular time, that's our punny. We'll go ahead and put the head on there and then somebody's going to make a decorative handle which we'll use to sort of make a tail and then it'll be done. So we're, as soon as we get the hole drilled in the bottom, we'll be moving ahead. Come, Mike. Like I said. 
Come, Mike. Helena, let me have that. Just really quickly. Gianni, I just need this for one moment. Just one moment. It will be back to you before you can say, we must away. where's my torch? I can get another. Why are you no torch, you? I get another. Do whatever you feel like you need to do, DJ, to make it right. So what DJ has in his hands right here is a map gas. You can get this at any hardware store, a map gas torch for plumbing. And that's a piece of tungsten rod, which is something you can get at a welding supply store. And for some reason, because of science, math, geometry, physics, and everything like that, hot glass does not stick to the tungsten rod as well as it say just about everything else in the world that is the same temperature as glass when it's molten. So we're able to, we're able to make a very precise little hole. Sometimes what I do is just keep moving down the rail. Do you know what I mean? So we're going to get them set, and then we're just going to twist and let him do his business. Boom. OK. So now, Emily, DJ, you take, switch off with Emily. She's going to make a blow punny and bring it over. So Emily knows exactly what I want for a punny on I'm this. Like, it can be a little on the beefy side. Hot is, hot is better. We'll throw a jack line into it. So we're going to make something similar to what we rolled the, uh, the cane up onto right now. It's a pipe with a gather of glass around the outside of it, but the pipe is open. And we're going to be able to attach it like a plunger to the bottom here and use it as a punny to finish the top of the piece, but it's going to be open through that hole so we can inflate this and make it into uh, the, Matt, the uh, sphere shape. You want the cresta? What a, I, want you to, I want you to think about it. It's time I'm a for free. Your, time for your, you're free. Thank you very much. Michael Rahman, when I go to put this thing together, um, when we get the head on there, we're going to put a handle on there, right? And you can make the handle, make it something with grooves in it, right? Yeah. And it can be somewhat sizable because we're going to touch it on, we're going to put it up, and then we're going to try and move it up. See on the back where there's that cone? Boop. Yeah. So we're going to touch it down, we'll pull it up, we'll do something with it. Give me at least this much glass. When it's flattened, when it's flattened out, okay? Yes. Clear glass with the gold over top of it. Okay, so form your cylinder exactly what you want. As soon as you get the gold on there, crimp it. Yeah, yeah. And put your knife. seams, if you see any seams, on the back side. Do you know what I mean? So you're like, oh, I got a bad part. Make that be bad down on the table and then crimp the nice part. That way I'm looking at the nice gold and not any... Oh, are we ready to go? Oh, my goodness. It looks lovely. Yeah, I'll give it a Before, okay. Emily, before you put it on there, can you close down the diameter a little bit on the rail? Ryan, can you stand by over here? And when we put the thing on, can you blow through the pipe? And then we'll know right away. I'll say, can you blow through there? And you'll know if it's open or not. Ryan, blow through the pipe. Stop everybody right there. Can you put your finger over the end of the pipe? Blow through the pipe. Blow. Is air escaping? Now it's sealed? OK. Emily, press and pull until you feel like it's stiff. Press to me, pull to you, press to me. How do you feel? I'm going to put one drop of water. I'm going to give it to you. Thanks, Ryan. There's nothing more disappointing than when you transfer that onto a blow punny and the blow punny is clogged. And you're like, oh, can't do this. It looks like Gianni's having a nice time over there making that head. It's a Yeah, back and forth, you know what I mean? A couple this way, a couple that way. And then we'll, uh, we'll try and close it off. And if you want to, you, bring me over, bring me over some clear glass. And what? Emily, before you get too far along, uh, Shimon's gonna bring me over a little bit of glass. 
So if you just want to give it a flash and bring it back, that'd be great. Do we have uh, Sophie at our compressed air or anything? Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, Sophie will be okay. Yep, Shimon, how are you doing? Okay. Give it a little flashy poo. Okay, Simone. Turn nice and easy, nice and easy. Stand up straight and tall. Flip 180 degrees. It's magnificent. Okay. I love it. I want, let's just have I this. I cut it down, you hold it, and you stick in the okay. bottom, okay? Okay. We'll use a little crystal, a little bit of clear glass, and we'll stick it right on with that. You got this hot or anything? You can go ahead and get a little bit hotter, and we'll paper it down, tweeze it, and close it. It's beautiful. I, I make. I love it. <laughs> I really love it. We cannot make too hot because we lost we got to lose the peak. Okay. Okay. Somebody put a piece of fiber Tell frax. Tell me when you are ready. Okay. Um, one, just a couple of minutes to finish the shape. Let's put a piece of fiber frax that'll act like a little nest for this guy to sit into the annealer, okay? Because otherwise it's going to be rolling all over and I don't want the peak to break off. Okay. Thank you. Keep it there. We must await the part that is already. Matt. Thanks, Emily, that was perfect heat. Okay, so Ryan, stand by on air, okay? It's just gonna take a little bit to make this round. You can just sort of bathe the whole thing nicely in there, and we'll just sort of push it around until it turns into a sphere. Michael Rahman, I think we're gonna put the tail on before we put the head on, because the are head's the most important. Take it forever. Blow just a little bit, please. Cecilia. That's fine. Michael yeah, Raman, make me a handle. Blow please. a little bit more, please. It's a solid Roman handle. I need to know more, when overall. you are ready. No. I'm going to apply a handle to the back, which will be the tail, and then the very last thing, that will go on, and then we'll put it away. OK. So Michael, just take your time, okay? Wait, Enjoy wait, yourself. Wait. Leave it there, leave it there. Whenever you have it going, nice deep heat, Emily. Nice. Okay, Ryan, give it the business. Blow, blow, blow. Blow, blow, blow. Blow, back in one more time, real hot, overall. Does anybody have a big piece of chalk? No thanks. That's okay. Emily, I think that's fine. We're good. Okay, Ryan, real light, real light. That's great. Okay, whenever Michael Raman is ready. Whatever, use that. But make sure you don't get it. Make sure you just make it nice. I'll take whatever you got. Whatever you bring, Mike, will be fine. So we're just in a holding pattern. We'll attach the handle. What you and doing? then Gianni's going to knock the head off onto a thing. And then I think we're Not going to take glass. just a little bit of clear glass and we'll put the head right onto that. We need some preheated tweezers probably. You can bring over the bit for the thing. Okay, just make it nice. I like what you got, Mike. It, just make it, just make it. Don't mess around, don't lose that furnace temperature.
Mike, what I want you to do is I want you to heat that, then make the gold, then crimp it, and bring it right to me. Do not flash the gold. Go over there. Go on the Arsineo. Okay, so That's a way to work. If I had a piece of chalk. How long you be there? If I had a piece of chalk right now, what I would do is I would be mapping out the location of where the handle's going to go and look where the head's going to go so all the placement is right. But we're okay. We've only got two things to deal with here. Want to take a cane? That one's here. Which one? This one. Like the dark one. Let me see. Go, go, you might. Crimp, crimp, Go. crimp, crimp. Please. Thank you. On ceramic in the future. I need ribs. You need to hang your hand off the end of the table to get the crimp all the way down. This is going to be mixed results, I think, but we'll see what happens. Mike will make me proud. Can't stay on the table too long. That's the reason why you need the ceramic. You go down there and make it hot. Come to cold, you burn the golden now. Biggest, ah, thank you. All right. Might be a little bit on the big side. We'll see what happens. So you can take a flash. Whenever you're ready, we're waiting on you, Mike. So Emily's taking, I think, the last flash here, and then when she comes out, Those Michael's going to come over, and we're going to see what happens here. Okay, nice. You stay up. Okay, Mike. Ribs to me. Ribs to me. Hold right there, please. Thanks, Mike. That was great. Are you ready? Just going to finish forming the handle, and then we'll be ready. You can put it on the paddle. I want to put a glass. Yes, clear glass. Emily, when you come out, uh, DJ's gonna have some clear glass and Gianni's gonna put a head on this thing. Let's see, we got Hold this. The other you ready, DJ? I'm ready, guy. Hold right Hold there, please. Go to him. Whatever you feel like you need to do. DJ, gloves. And I think we have a little, Gianni, I love it. Simon. The head is beautiful. Simon. Just leave it open for her now. It's too cold, it's too cold, it creates a tension. Too cold, too cold. <laughs> You make attention because it's a cold this one. These are that is not enough to uh, absorb the, 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 the cold of the two. Okay. We've been preheating these, so they are hot, but yeah, not but hot enough. Yeah, but they come cold very quickly. I think we're good, you guys. Okay, okay so whoever's ready with, uh, who's ever ready with gloves? Nah. 
We're just going. Last DJ, one. I just want you to hold underneath it like this, and it'll fall into your gloves. Emily, you can kick the back of the pipe down, and we're just going to pour a lot of water onto that crystal until it falls off. Make sure we don't get water on your gloves. It may fall off at any time. Keep turning. Turn. Knock. Knock. Thank you, Gianni. Thank you very much. It's beautiful. I love that head. Lunch time! <laughs>